Good evening, Twitch. Welcome to... Welcome to MLB The Show 20. It is opening day in the MLB. And today, may as well play the official MLB simulation game, MLB 20, MLB The Show 20. Since MLB 21, the show doesn't come out for another couple of weeks. But until then, we'll just have this for you guys. Let me... Let's just load up everything. Baseball fans, I'm Heidi Watney, and welcome to the show. Just want to make sure it's playing. It is. There we go. Uh, we'll do a little bit of road to the show in a bit. Haven't done that. I do that mostly on my YouTube channel. But, uh, but now let's do a play now. It's current rosters. And we'll do a quick little watch, kind of like a watch along. This game in real life has not gotten well, but... Uh, we'll use MLB Network. April, yeah, one, I believe it was Clear Skies right now. We'll do a five-inning quick count game. Just to show off some gameplay on here and to say that I actually did a real game for <laughs> the 2021 season. Up. Here we go. Daytime baseball here on MLB Network. A good one on tap for you this afternoon between the LA Dodgers and the Colorado Rockies. It's going to be fun marveling at two of the best in the game, and it's next on MLB Network. Alright, here we go. I'm not going to do anything, I'm just watching this game go through. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. At the plate, Mookie Betts, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. All right, here we go. Hey, buddy. I'm trying to change history with this watch watch through here. And a little off to begin the afternoon as it's to three and one. We're doing quick counts. Dodgers are about to lose this game eight to four on opening day in real life. But let's change it up and see if they can win it in this in the video game version. The three and one pitch. And that misses for ball four. So it's a five pitch walk to get us started here this afternoon. Here's Corey Seager. Previous history with Herman Marquez. Not great. And he's one for eight. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And down. Not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. All right. Well, kinda. I just I'm only doing like a half game, a five inning game with quick counts. So I will already set an account. Two and two the count. And then I'll get into something I haven't done in a while. Some road to the show. <laughs> Bets on at first. Nobody out.
And it's fouled away. He's ready with the 2 2 pitch. Close there, but he doesn't get the call with the breaking ball. Nah. Boy, not Good what job. you want coming out of the gate as a pitcher, right? You don't want to have to show all of your pitches this early on in the game, but that's a quality at bat. And what does it make you do as a pitcher? You have to use a lot of your pitches, and the more pitches a hitter sees, the better chance they have to make good contact. All right, full count, 3-2, nobody out. Once again, a 3-2. And pop foul again. And that will end up a foul ball. Another and one foul. Off. And now this will be the tenth pitch of the at bat. All right, here it goes again. Foul Fouled off. again. Man, they're gonna make this pitcher hey, here tie out. Right here, I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Let's see. Try it again. Another full count. Lifted in the air out towards that left one's center. gonna be yeah, it's an out. Pilar will settle under it to make the play for the first. He goes back to first base. Has to head back to first. That is her. The chance now for the Los Angeles Dodgers starting lineup. Who are you focused on, Dan Plezak? Well, one thing's for sure. They love what Mookie Betts brings to their offense. This guy is one of three American League silver sluggers in the outfield. You know how many outfielders there are in the league? A lot. And he walked away with one of the silver sluggers. This man can hit. Just so you know, this is not this. This is this is after the 2019 season, not the shortened 2020 One, season we're sure to hear about. And gets him looking at the knees for the and the quick out. count does not work in the favor this time as he is out. Is cool. Oh, I forgot to so press left trigger again, didn't I? No, no, I didn't. Probably after the first out, I did. All right, one one. Now a swing and a miss. Wow, and what a whip! One and two. All right, down one two. From the belt, the pitch. All right, and that's going to be high and two and two now. And that's ball two. The umpires working this one. <laughs> Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Patrick Johnson. You know, D-Roll, Patty Johnson, you know, decent strike zone, but isn't always super consistent. I think that's one of the things that irritates players and pitchers. And yeah, fouled again. Gonna They're just going to get this guy tired. The offensive guys, but maybe the guy on the mound as well. He needs to be a little bit more consistent. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Ooh, again, looks good, but that's a foul. Play. Setting up again. And the throw. Oh, they're stealing, but doesn't matter. Strike three, and that's the third out. One left for LA. It's the Dodgers nothing. Rockies stepping in at the plate. Just underway. Next on MLB Network. Here you go to the bottom of the first inning. Clayton Kershaw will be on the mound for the boys in blue. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, take a look at that career ERA in the low twos. Not an easy thing to do in the day of smaller ballparks and guys hitting a lot of home runs. One thing he does, he stays away from the barrels of the bats. And if he continues to pitch like that, he's going to have his way with a lot of teams. It'll be interesting and fun to watch him in this one here today. Digging in now, Rymel Tapia. It All right, let's see how that goes. The bottom half of the first. Now a ball hit and in the air, but that's going to be foul. Wait. Yeah. Oh, and oh watch out, watch out. <laughs> Jock, <ball>. watch out. <laughs> the one, two. <laughs> And that was a close one. Blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. So we'll see what pitch he comes with next. 
Here comes the pitch way high. The target there is he's running as far as it can go now. It's three and two. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That Here we one go. Even close. Swing now, and a miss. Ball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Whiff. <laughs> That's how you do it. All right, one two count already. Trevor Story swung on and he went fishing. Swung on in the dirt, but it. Oh no! But he's not going to have a play, and that's an error. First after the strikeout, so they'll slap an error on the catcher there, and you can tell he's not happy back there. Digging in, Nolan. They're going to say it was the catcher's fault. For him in this one, with a runner still at first and one gone. Which brings up the big bat, Nolan Arenado. <laughs> Two one and here in the pitch. And he grooves the fastball there. This Please is no. high and deep out to straight away oh, center field. Oh, he got to the wall. Billinger's back to the track as he takes it for out number two. Nice catch in the midfield. Uh, center field. That, here's a look at the Rockies lineup card for this one. Who stands out to you, Danny? Well, I'm looking for a big performance from Nolan Arenado. Go look at the numbers. He hit over 310 last year and was consistent most of the year. I'm looking forward to him That's having another last year as in 2019. <laughs> and that'll bring in Charlie Blackman. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Alright, and the pitch. Now on one and one. Ball two. And this one runs a little too far in. Ball two. That's a great pitch for a spot like that. And there's the third base like coach giving signals to the runner. You can command that with movement. It's a very effective pitch to pitching hitters inside. Now a throw over. And Kershaw figured something was going on. He pick, tries to throw a pick off. All right, sets the pitch three outside ball three. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base, almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. But he didn't run, so he'll set on the three one. The three one. Finds the zone. Gets in the there. Three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Expect him to run. Now the payoff pitch home. And a good at bat. No time need. As he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs. And now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. Kershaw thought Blackman would chase, but so two alas, on he did away, And that'll bring up a man who's a human highlight reel defensively, Kevin Pillar. Alright, starting off with a one-two count. Ready with the one-two. And the pitch. Oh, this is way too high. No, right I'm not. He wants to go stop three, two saying and that. Let those runners be in motion. Look for him to be aggressive with what he thinks is his best pitch right now. Two men are on with two All men right. Kershaw with the stretch. And the throw. Fouls Still that one off. At two and two. Two and two. Here comes Here the pitch. Lifted in Fouled the again. The line and right. but wind These guys just like to foul the pitches off. <laughs> All right. Looks at the runner at second. Two. The throw. Low again. These Ball three. Babies, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. 
Here's the Here comes the pitch. pitch. High and deep to right center. And it's not going to be far enough. Bellinger. As Bellinger will get the second out of the inning. His second out of the inning. The catch and that ends the inning. Two left for Colorado. Still no score. This is the show on MLB Network. All set for the start of the inning. And next, the dangerous power threat, Will Smith. A one right. one. Here we go. Is taken Outside, for ball, two. ball one. Or I guess ball two, that's right. I keep forgetting this is a quick count. Now the two one pitch. And the pitch. At the ball. Down the zone. He ball three. The guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're gonna have any success. The All three right. and one pitch. Sets up. Looks low. Fouled away. Foul that off. <laughs> And the pitch. Good battle. Count Fouled again. Full. Looks like I'm going to be seeing this a lot. A payoff pitch one more time. Hmm. Locks and him up in there. He three. could not swing at that one. I'll tell you, it's hard to get more of a confidence boost than striking out the best hitters in the lineup. Back to back to back. He's looking really sharp right now. Right, two one count to Cody Bellinger. Into the box now, Cody Bellinger. And oh, that one off. one off. The only downside to this broadcast style, Still I can't see how many hit in the ball game. pitches he's thrown. And another We're still foul looking ball. for our first hit in the ball game, mind you. This Bellinger fouls off another one. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Back up the and middle. nope. Story right to the second or baseman. Or they get shortstop. And throws the first for the easy out. That is that. The left field of the 31. Josh Peterson. So base is empty. So base two is away. Empty here with oh. two gone. <laughs> and in steps a former World Series hero, the outfielder Jock Peterson. The one two. But it's a one two count. Let's see if he can get it. Foul. Makes good contact there, but this is going to find the stands foul down the right field line. <laughs> the one two. It is swung on and missed strike three. Well, good thing you're here. One two three go the Dodgers. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Stepping up to the plate, Ryan McMahon, as he'll get his first right. opportunity. Brock is at the one. plate again. And the pitch. Just Up a high, high ball two. Ball, but didn't get the call. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. Smith goes to get it, and he makes the throw to first. McMahon is retired, and there's one away. Well, that's a quick out. Stepping in, Garrett Hampson. Bottom of the second here with no score. Ah, great curveball there. Really He's got the strike in one. there. Line drive to center field. Bellinger is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Batting eight. The catcher, Drew. You can right, that's another fly out to center field if, to the Cody Bellinger for the out. Coming to the plate now, Drew Butera will try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Let's see if we can get another quick out here. 
this ball. Nope. Close ball one. one. Up ball two. two and one. Yeah, I'm okay. Hard hit to first. And we finally in. nope, no hit this time. Off balance throw gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. One, two, so three, go the two innings of we'll move to the third hitless with baseball. No Taylor Cushon Bettis set to lead things off in the third. Top of the third set to get underway, and in the hit next <laughs> Thank it'll you. be the ever versatile Chris Taylor. Here's the one and two delivery. Right, here we go. Takes this the there other way. There we go. Right. Hit number That's one. Hit. The first in this game for the Dodgers. The first Dan, in this game at all. But whatever. <laughs> such a deep lineup. I mean, even the eight, nine hole hitters are solid big league players. You know, Mark, these days you're not seeing a lot of defensive specialists in the infield or outfield. If you're in that starting lineup these days, there's a pretty good job you can swing. All right, Kershaw set the bat. Expect him maybe to go with a sacrifice. Yep. In now. He sets up. Kershaw. And, and he fouled that one. That man to second, but this one kicks foul. So one and two. Nobody out, runner on first. He's gonna go and he still, but he back pulls back. Two and two. <laughs> two here he goes. And, now a and there he goes. Attempt here is this one's down. And, and it works. The off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Although it almost didn't, it seemed. Still pretty much a sacrifice. The order now, and that'll bring up Mookie Betts. All right, here we go. One one count. And the pitch. Two and one. Way outside. Getting the stare down. Two one count. The two one is laid and off offside off again. Outside three. again. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's 3-1 in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. Alright, 3-1 count. He may want to get this one in the zone. The pitch. Hit hard he does, but at what cost? The hit. runners go to the corners with that hit. Throw comes in quickly here, so that'll hold that go-ahead run at third now with still only one away. Well, this guy makes a living on hitting to be fair fall behind in the count and Taylor probably it didn't think it was gonna be in to the ballpark every night or he was he thought it was he thought the shortstop was gonna get that one light up and you can guaranteed fastball let it eat full count now as it's now a full count to Corey Seager let's see is he gonna load the bases And in the hole, the Dodgers get the lead, one to nothing. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D-Roy. You get that base hit to give your team the lead. You have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%. Not trying to do too much. Able to quiet the moment down. Center himself right. and come through in a big spot. Here comes Justin to Turner. Justin Turner. All and three. Uh, that time. Two is it all three? No, it's two Great one. My bad. Right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. You should get one to hit. We make this a four nothing game. Turner in front at three balls mm. in the strike. Hard to tell. Got a good spot to be in right now. Pitchers fall behind but, in the count yeah, it's with ball a guy three. Up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. All right, here we go. Three one count. And it's up in to there. Two full count now. And the pitch lifted in the air toward the line and right. Uh, this will wind up being foul, a ball, foul yeah. ball. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. There you go. 
hit to third. And Arnado's got it. The got tag. The tag and first. the throw out to first. Just like that, the first. I said I'm getting a little double play, but it works. One in the inning here for the guys in blue. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. LA's on top, one to nothing. Striding in, Herman Marquez, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. The 1 1 home. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Peterson has a read on it, makes the play one away. All right, that's an easy out. Now batting, the left fielder, rival, Tapia. Say so yes. Today is opening day in Major League Baseball. Ready for another chance? Rymel Tapia, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Bases are empty, one man out. Here comes a 2 1 pitch. All even now. Foul to two. the backstop. Now here it comes. And the pitch. Hit in the air that looks like left. a good hit, but. Giving chase. No oh, it's one off the wall. On this one, and the first Colorado hit is going to be good for extra bases. And he'll reach second now with one away. So a double for. That was not a good pitch, but he handled it nicely, guys. Yeah, yeah and the pitcher's got to wonder what he has to do to get it past this guy. That pitch was off the plate, but he shows big hit great by reach, Tapia. Gets good extension and off the wall. <laughs> Play Trevor Story as he'll look so, to bring home that time. No shot for with a, base hit a perfect game. I guess no hitter for uh, Kershaw this time. All right, one one count. Run it second. There you see the you saw the Rockies mascot getting the crowd pumped up. Off. So they got a chance to take the lead on a home run. One, two, count. Looks back to the runner at second. Oh, and this is Swing, Yanomis. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball, a high piece of cheese swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. I hope you guys have done well this uh, April Fool's Day. Oh, we got a new follower. Thank you, full time gamer grind. So now to the plate, Nolan Arenado. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's 2 and 1. Thank you for that. Alright, 2 1 count. Run it second. Kershaw needs to get this guy put away. And, and that's fouled into the stands. Into the seats down the right side. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. No idea. And, and three calls. Umpire says it's says strike three. Kidding me with the side retired. Back if you could tell, it was just a look like it was just a little bit um, but the umpire gives Kershaw the benefit of the doubt, this. and the, he gets out of it. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first Heidi Watney standing by with a report. Matt, during the break, I caught up with Dave Roberts, the Dodgers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far, and flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Okay, thank you, Heidi. All as we get set to go. Fourth, and here comes the first baseman, Max Muncie. Yeah, I don't know where everybody is at. And, now a and that one was low way too low. Ball, it's two and one. Rounded softly down the line toward first. 
but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. And that's a hit. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Oh, I was talking about the game. I was, I was talking about the real so life game. It's at least getting the strikeout on. It's at least a chance. Not a bad time to check out our pitch speed really? comparison for our two yeah. starters. And whoa, you Dodgers see may still number. have a shot to win this thing. Ninety-nine for a top speed. Not too many guys around the league can match that. Okay, as you see, this speed differential of the starting Digging pitchers today. Second at bat, Will Smith comes into this at bat, mm -hmm. 0 for one in the ball game. One run on three hits, one error in the ball game for the Dodgers to this point. Lifted down the As line. As foul, left. they'll try to quickly take you through the other games that happened today and for opening that day. Will end up a foul ball. I can figure you. I knew you were still here. And it seems Here's like it's the only. Two no. If you show up, I'm happy. Then if you don't, then I understand if you couldn't make it. Hard for me to get mad. When misses badly, it's ball two. All right, as I was saying, let's take a look at some of the other games that happened today for opening day. In extra innings, blew it right Braves get the win over the down. Phillies get the win over the Braves as we got a strikeout. Now that, and Cody Bellinger so comes up with a one-one one count. On, and that'll bring forward Cody Bellinger. In the other games today, uh, Austin Meadows gets the only run of the game with a solo a shot in the top of the in the bottom of. No wait, Marlins would have won the home. Uh, Rays get the win, one nothing after Austin Meadows homers it. And that's upstairs, running the in the eighth inning one. with two away. Hitters Meanwhile, all the way here it comes. Meanwhile, the, the hit down center field it drops in. <laughs> yeah. Hey, not an easy thing to do right now. More often than not, it's always around April 1st. Right it sometimes it doesn't, sometimes right it does. It depends right on yeah, he found a good result the time right of the year. The pitcher actually executed right there, got him to hit it where he wanted to, put good barrel, good contact on that ball, was able to find Meanwhile, a sack fly in Petco Park was the winner for the Padres as they beat the Diamondbacks 7 to 8. Yeah, and that hit uh, Cardinals not starting not off their opening day on a hot streak as they get the win over Cincinnati. The outlook of an inning changes uh, dramatically. As they get the win in Cincinnati, 11 to six, and now the Royals. Over to first, and he'll dive back in. There you go. Uh, and the Royals up so far against the Rangers, 13-9. We're at the top of the eighth inning over in Kauffman Stadium. As it's a hit up the middle, and, and they the get another hit. <laughs> that's through for a two, -out hit. two straight two-out singles. Back -back two out hits right now. This pitcher thought he was As the runners are now at first and now second. He's got traffic, and he's in jeopardy with a ball in the gap or a ball missed over the heart of the plate. A crooked number going on the board. On the way here, the real course field and as the game now, as the Rockies Christopher. lead. 8-5 to five as there's a hit down left field and that is going to bring home at least one run and it does. Two strikes away from getting out of there but the Rock Dodgers get a hit in the left field and they get the second run of the ball game. And also a reminder if you have ESPN or I guess in Canada TSN you got the Astros and the Athletics tonight from Oakland Coliseum at 10.07 Eastern, 7.07 first pitch set to be at 10.07 p.m. Eastern, 7.07 Pacific as Kershaw ball. fouls it into right field, almost getting a good hit up there. Six hits, one error in the ball game for the Dodgers to this point. And he pops but instead up. he's just going to pop Lifting this one the over to the, the third infield. baseman and but, a, but another run does come home to score side. for the Dodgers only one in the inning as we head the to the bottom blue. of the fourth reminder the we're only doing a five inning game as I do not want to take this up forever bottom of the inning now and that'll bring All right, in comes Blackman. Charlie Blackman for his second appearance of the game A 
Alright. Here's the pitch. Here's the throw. And foul that one off. Away. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0 2 count. Heater caught too much of the zone. Now a fastball. And close, but he doesn't get the call. It's yeah, two ball and two. two. Man, this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. Swing by Blackman and, and it's hammered to right field. Oh, this is going to be nope. To the, to the warning track for the, the warning track. He makes the catch. Onto the warning track for the first out of the inning. The center fielder, number 11, Kevin So digging in now, Kevin Pillar. All right, in comes He's Kevin Pillar. One thus far. The 3-1 holds off on the slider. And he couldn't idea, get the out. Four. You know, it takes a lot of discipline to watch a pitch like that go by. But on a 3-1 count, he had the luxury of being a little bit more selective up there. Good take and a walk is the result. Here's Ryan McMahon now. All right. He was a strikeout so, victim in his first try. One away, two on his first. Tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets yeah. up there, north of seven, eight pitch ABs. Sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see and the ground into the shortstop. Is he going to get anything? He'll at least get one. As he play. has closer than I thought it would be. As the run is safe at first. And kids, this is why you always go hard in the second base. Could have been an easy double play ball, but the slide really impacts the throw to first, and they wind up only getting one out on the play. Good, aggressive, legal slide that time. And that'll All right, so Garrett Hampson up. Hit it hard, but See if he can tie this game up. Bat. He's on yeah, a three-one count. That's all you can ask. You can't control the result sometimes, Maddie. Just unlucky with the placement. All right, three-one count. count. Let's see if what he'll do. Fouled it barely. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Line and drive line drive field. to center. Bellinger, Bellinger with the easy there. out. Puts it away to retire the side. One left for Colorado. They're down two to nothing. We'll see if the Dodgers can ins extend their lead heading into the bottom of the fifth. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Mookie Betts. A 1 1. Here comes the pitch. He's in there. For in strike there, strike number two. two. And that Colorado bullpen comes to life now with a lefty and a right hand. There you see the. the yeah, you see the full pen there. The one two. May want to bring out their starter. Gets him swinging. And what a whiff out. at the bottom of the zone. This is why it's so hard to be successful as a hitter. As the Rockies just the took out the Dodgers to start off their opening day season. Sort of they win it their opening day. The Rockies win the game in real ball, life eight to five. Hard to adjust and catch up to it. Go back to an error on the first home run of the game for them as the difference maker. As a two run home run was canceled, as Justin Turner ran back to first base thinking the ball was caught. And by MLB rules, that's the runner is out. Well, the batter is out. And that's low ball four. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what uh, we saw right there. Pitchers work around closest the closest that it could be is like so MVP 2005, he but pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. Next, but that's not in the real Justin game situation Turner. because oh, for two for him maybe in like a career mode. Yeah, I'm, I like what you're thinking here. Like in a career mode, you, you could actually warm up yourself. For the second time. And watch the game in the background. As meanwhile, he on the left field, the ball He's falls in. Gonna are we going to get a run? The Indeed, first. we are. And they're not going to play like this today. 
Dodgers now lead the game three to nothing. Great base running from the guy at first. The ball had plenty of air under on the term is bullpen, not ball pen. It wasn't going to be caught, and he hustled all the way around home. That's something that shouldn't go. But yeah, I like what you were getting that there. Play. And that'll bring up the versatile Max Muncy. He's gone down on strikes twice already in this one. And Dan, when you know you have a chance to hand someone a hat trick for the game, is there any extra motivation to punch him out again? Hey, there's no doubt about that, Matt. When you have a good hitter like this, and you've punched him out twice already, you just want to continue to go out there and make good pitches and see if you can't. All right, one one count for a third time. with Turner at second. And the pitch. Ball two. Ball two. Taken inside for a ball. Two and one now couple strikeouts early in the game but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself yeah, in he's a up 2-1 on the count Muncy swings and fouls it to the right foul. side <laughs> he got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it Runner you can barely see that for a second but the cat pitch is reaching a close to a hundred pitches so a full as it now. falls inside for ball people, three the longer the at bat the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning Good thing this is the last inning of the game. All right, back and forth. The three he sets. Hit, hit up the middle. The is that going to bring home middle. another run? In there. Base hit. Now he's going for it, home. and he's in there. Turner scores, it's and it's four, four nothing Dodgers. Just an absolute okay. laser that time. Let's see how he hit that ball. That, if you will, and show track tells us it went out at 112 miles an hour. Those are the line drives. You think of that ball heading right by. towards you? You have to get out of the way of that. Comes manager Bud Black out but of the dugout, heading for the mound. That's it. And it changes yep. in the offense. That's it for Marquez here. For his starter this afternoon. He's, so I kept missing it. To the dugout after working just four and a third, and he just didn't have his best stuff in this one. Jeff Hoffman. So here comes the reliever, Jeff Hoffman. He inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Let's see how he does. He normally comes in in these middle innings. As we get the one-one count. Stepping in now. Out comes Will the throw. Smith. Wow, that must have been a curveball or something. Because yeah, 80. Oh, yeah, it's a slider because it was pretty slow. One, two, count. A swing and, and a down the corner. Barely foul. Just couldn't keep that ball that could have been out of here, but instead it just curves to the left too Runner much. First year, one man out. All right, here comes the pitch, hit hard up the and middle. yet another and hit up the middle. For a base hit. That once again brings runners to first and second. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. All right, two-one count now. Again, runners to first and second. Standing in now. Cody Again, a reminder we're only doing five innings as this ball goes uh, foul. This foul ball as that evens things at two and two. So Bellinger gets a two-two count. Still only one out in the inning. Here comes the pitch. Way inside. For a ball. Jock Peterson is on deck. No way the. Rockies want to load the bases, the but here comes the hit. pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. And oh, he oh, bobbled he it. Come up with it. And, and he doesn't get in there. That's got to be an error. And it is. And Hampson with the error. For him to start the double play, he's in ideal position. And then I think he got a little bit ahead of himself. You know that old saying, "Be quick, but don't hurry." Well, I think that was demonstrated right here. Yeah, he to tag him. He had to step on the base to make the out, but he couldn't get the, the throw in John time. Peterson. So the bases are loaded for Jock Peterson. Bases are loaded with only one out. Let's see how he does. And the pitch. And foul. One and two. One to foul it toward the backstop. Hoffman features one of the biggest yackers in the game. Curveball's got a ton of movement. All right. He's in position. Sets. The one and the one-two pitch. 
fouled that one off. He this is just torture for them. Breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. All right, one, sets two. and throws. Lifted down the and line. And wait, foul that and time. And this will wind up a foul ball. All right, Ready so Hawksman with the, the throw. One, line and right it drops. And, that's into the outfield and he bobbled the hit. ball, so that's another run for the Dodgers. Even further as the run from third is into score. Now that second base. Now so that little bobble Taylor. that gives the Dodgers a five-nothing lead. Able to put this one out of reach. Yeah, Matt, down five, here comes Chris Taylor. He here he brought in, I believe, the first run of the game for them. Mentally, they might still feel like they've got a shot if they could get out of this jam, though. Well, we'll see. All right. Huffman sets up. And he set. throws. The one one. High and deep down the left uh, field line. Just fouled that one too. And that will I'm going to get Huffman. Oh, makes. He's supposed to be a reliever and he has not gotten an out yet. The one two. And, the and bounced, but luckily play. nobody it's ran. To corral this quickly as the runners hold on. He's set. Here's the two two. And the pitch. Foul that one off. Uh, all right, two two. Sets and throws. A swing and ball. A sent out Deep left the center. This has a chance. Gone. It's out of here. It's a grand slam. Big slam for Taylor. And the Dodgers now lead it nine to nothing. So he will touch them all on the grand slam as they push this lead up to nine now. <laughs> you can't that forget about it. You just How'd this ball get out of here? In a bases loaded situation, you've got no one. And it's a slowdown with the and pitch. And let's so look at show track, right? Waiting to pounce, and that's no, it's just exactly from a different camera does. angle. But still, that was pretty far. That's at least 400 feet. And there you go, Hoffman done for the day. He's now given up four and at least three earned runs. As Yancy Almonte comes in to mop it up. Maybe he can get it out. We'll see. Gavin Lux will grab In the meantime, they're gonna the pinch. We got a pinch hitter for Kershaw, as he'll be done for the day. One one count. And Strike two. With the fastball, one and two now. Seven runs have crossed the plate in the inning. <laughs> it was two nothing. Remember, it was two nothing to start the fifth. Liner towards As they second. finally get the second out of the inning. Out number two. <laughs> And there you see Marquez. He's tagged with five of those runs since he left the runner on base. Or two. Uh, he left two runners on base. That's right. So this just so that home run went from bad to worse for him. Terrific talents in the game, Mookie Betts. Here's the one and one. Here comes the throw. This is line to left. I think they finally got tired, so they just decided to just get the next two outs pretty quickly, and they do. Final damage here, ten come to the plate, seven run score. Last half of the fifth coming up, it's the Dodgers nine, and the Rockies nothing. Again, why couldn't they play like this today? Welcome back to Coors Field in Denver as we check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Rockies skipper Bud Black between innings, specifically about his club's offensive output to this point. 
And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on please. shrinking the zone and now, forcing the opposing the pitching to And then strikes. to finish off the game, here is okay, Dustin May. Thank you, Heidi. Dustin May, a right-hander standing six foot He doesn't six, have to do much, just get those three outs. Here. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. No, uh, Heidi May is the, the was at the time that's the new sideline reported for Slow MLB the show. The third baseline, a role she occupies on MLB Network in real life. She also hosts one of the studio shows on it when it's not an MLB Network major game. And now pitch on the way. And he won't go after the cut fastball two and two. And she remains the honor as the only female modeled into MLB the show. <laughs> uh, with a full Set model, not like the fans. Those now. are easy models. You can bet they love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. Something has and to give. here Here's comes the, the pitch. pitch. Swing, Swing and a miss, and a miss and at the bottom of the zone. The home supporters here, one away. Big curveball from the strike out there, and that came after an absolute missile of a fastball. Even if you recognize the breaking ball, what a whip! He, so he missed it completely. He may have timed it right, but a, really a bat just went with As yes, Daniel Murphy set the pitch in for the Rockies. Yeah, they cover. Sometimes they cover Dodgers baseball. <laughs> Another one, two. Here's the pitch. Pulls this one into the air. Wide right into right, right field. field. Betts has a read on it. Nice and catch by Betts. Out of the as they are just one out away from ending this game. Now bat left fielder. <laughs> right ball. Tapia. Stepping in, Rymel Tapia. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Bases are empty here with two right, men here out. Here we go. So he won count and the pitch. Boy, look at that Swings and miss. Full now, three and two. Now the Dodgers get As a right up and throw Dodgers aren't taking pin. any chances in case they give up a few hits. They got a man warming up. Last full count. Now for Colorado. Under their last chance. Swing and a liner. And they're still in it. And that's got in a, there. So perhaps got a ball in the hole. And they that brings the runner to first. Right there. It looked like a 3-2 pitch out of the zone could have got on base via the walk, but he wanted to knock instead. And there you see it went right between the shortstop and third baseman for a hit. Coming to the plate now, Trevor Story, the recipient of a National League Silver Slugger Award for his contributions at shortstop last Let's year. Let's bring back that Rockies mascot. <laughs> Let's see, can they at least make it so that this doesn't end in a shutout? On first with two away. One, one count. Dustin sets. And pitches. One Foul the way. Alright, down to the last chance for the Rockies again. One, two count. As Dustin does his warm up, or does his stretch, and throws. And here's one that barely misses and off the And they're going to say he was two inside. Two. Ball two. So Dustin sets and pitches. High in the Fouled air, again. The right field line. And foul. Alright. Sets. Here's and the two pitch. Two. Check and swings, but it's down now, low. Misses, three and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing They probably rehearse it ahead of time of so that they know where they're going. Been any different. And Definitely they're not there the entire right time. Alright, full count. Here comes the pitch. Oh, what a hit. 
that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. And they won't even attempt to run on that arm in right. So despite the runner moving on the pitch, it will wind up first and second here. That's the difference. In and that brings up Arenado, the big bat for the, the Colorado Rockies. On a breaking ball. We'll see if Dustin can get this last out and get a shutout. All right, set. set. Quick Here check the second the as he down. throws, and it's in there Ball for strike two. two. That's his. With quick counts enabled, that's his. <laughs> eh. Look out! Oh, that one almost got had away to from him. Two and two now. Dust him back. That's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate. Oh, whoa, 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 what was that bat? Now, you can go inside or outside. <laughs> I, like that I didn't expect pitch. a glitch, but I found it. <laughs> what the heck, man? Out, out that ball. Out that bat. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Swing How the bat move like that as Arenado strikes out, and the that's ball the ball over. game. On paper, this had the makings of a real hard-fought game, but... Uh, Paper and reality, those are two different things. They pulled away and never looked back. How about to a tune of a nine-run victory? A nine-nothing shutout final in this ball game. The Dodgers led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Clayton Kershaw pitches well enough to get the W. So that's a wrap for us in this. He didn't have. He barely Rosa, had to do Dan anything. Zach, Heidi, Watney, Matt <laughs> Don't worry, I'll put this stream up on YouTube so you guys can see it around the network. 55 minute mark. <laughs> well, it's a win for Kershaw and a loss for Marquez in this shortened game so that I can show off Road to the Show here on Twitch. Here now is our final line for this uh, I wish I could have... I wish I would have shown that pre-game or that warm-up stuff in the replays, but I can't. I don't think I can, at least. no run, three hits. One error, they left six men on base. Time of the ball game. No, I don't think I can. Let me make sure. Nope. All right. Player of the game has to be Chris Taylor. He got the grand slam to put this game out of reach. And the Dodgers win it 9 to nothing. So again, a reminder, MLB The Show 21 comes out later this month for PS4, PS5, and for the first time, Xbox One and Xbox Series X. But we'll show off Road to the Show here on Twitch for the first time. U.S., California... I always enjoy being the starting pitcher. My three pitches will be four seam fastball, curveball, and slider. Oop, no, no, no. Station I saw was my right. Oh, that was my left. I love being the control freak type of pitcher. Let's see, my my personnel will be heart and soul, captain, and lightning rod. There we go. A name they can get. My names always seem to be the ones they can get. Oop. Darn it. Oh, well, I can... I can change it up again when uh, we get through with the draft. But right now it's just a generic player. <laughs> can't believe I forgot to check the other stuff. It's been a while since I played the show. But as usual, we start with Scout Day. Just Days before the 40-round MLB draft, some lesser-known prospects get one last chance to make an impression at Bowman Scout Day. 
Welcome to Bowman Scout Day, gentlemen. This is your chance to catch the scouts' eyes before the top showcase games. We'll be calling your numbers soon. In the meantime, I suggest stretching out. All right, I'll get through my stretches. And there I go with the 60-yard dash. And as a pitcher, it's about the best I could do. <laughs> Was an average time. All right, the scouts will be watching you very closely on the mound today. They will be focused on velocity, command, and movement of all your pitches. You want to practice for the evaluation. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> Ah, mistimed it. Luckily, it's not counting it yet. Okay, I think I'm ready. Alright, pretty good. Bullseye. Just outside the target that time. Ah, outside target, but still good. Bullseye. Right in for the curveball. I know! <laughs> there we go. Bullseye on that one. And just a bit off the zone or the bullseye, but that's good. As long as I keep it in the zone, it's good. Of course, the slider. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> ah, first missed pitch, or second missed pitch, at least officially. Ah, made it in there. Ah, slider seems like it's going to be my weakest pitch. There we go. At least got the bullseye on the last one. And that's all you do as the pitcher. <laughs> Everyone has a personality, even a ball player. That personality influences how they respond to their teammates and their coaches. All meaningful dialogues will have responses influenced by personalities. Each response will grant you progress in that personality. You can also see how much each response will increase your current personality score as you scroll through the available replies. You can see upcoming perks available once you complete a tier. You'll have access to these perks once you reach the minor leagues and start your professional career. Good luck on your journey to the show. First game of the showcase, time for us to step up and be known. You got that right, it's time for us to step up as a team. Absolutely. What makes it better is the quality of guys on the team. It's a really great group. Yeah it is, I'm ready to carry some of these guys if I need to. <laughs> Anything can happen between the foul lines. I can feel a breakout is about to happen. <laughs> Let's stick with the heart and soul. Yeah, there's no other team I want to play for. Except for maybe a pro team. Oh wait, I can change it up here, can't I? Oh yeah. Customize appearance. I'll try to stay as a white guy because they'll be confused like, wait, how'd this guy change race in the middle of it? In between the pro day and the actual game. I like that look right there. Let's go with it. Well, let's get the first of the two showcase drafts, uh, showcase games underway. Top Amateur Showcase is an opportunity for you to put your skills on display for scouts from all 30 teams prior to the first year draft. Your success throughout the showcase event will be measured not only on your results, but also your approach to each situation. 
In the end, your performance here will help determine your initial path to the majors. Here on the show. Today we get the ball rolling with an intriguing matchup on day one between the prospects from the central region and those representing the West. Jay Bird, the California And I'm set to start. I'm six foot three, two hundred and six pounds. <laughs> This guy has and ready three to throw. That he brings into his mix. So as a pitcher, you only get three full with, innings as a, a to be on the mound, really solid. A good pitcher, or until or unless the manager takes you out early. Stepping into the box, Kevin Fox. He will lead this one off today. The second base. Kevin. First pitch coming. Here it is. And this is pop and foul, first pitch. perhaps playable behind And first, first out. That's easy. And this will not be Oh no, he dropped it. Ball. I thought he grabbed it. He looked like he was right there. But first instead pitch. he just dropped it. And now pitch on the way. Swing and a liner. Ah. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Yeah, and I'm sure he wasn't planning on giving up a base knock to the first battery face, but that's what he's done now, and he just has to show the scouts how he's going to respond. He'd love nothing more than to get a strikeout or a double play right here. At the plate, Ooh, right in there, Bailey. Yes, he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. Fox gets his lead at first, nobody out. Uh, that's going to be an out, though. Right. Romer will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. There we go. Striding forward now is the DH, Felix Paniagua. He'll get to take his first cut. In there, strike one. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Runners on first with one down. He's running. Strike called. Now Strike two, down. but because I threw a slider, well, he got play, in there easily. Easy stolen base. Still no balls on the corner, but he still fouled it off. Hmm, he's just trying and to get my pitcher ball. tired already. I love the fact that the hitter was able to foul that pitch away. I always thought with two strikes. You give the pitcher that inside and that's another foul. And you do your best to cover away. Lays this time he decides time not to foul it. Boy, not what you want coming out of the gate as a pitcher, right? You don't want to have to show and all of your pitches this early. Running with the game, third, but we do get the second out. That. And what does it make you do as a pitcher? You have to use a lot of your pitches, and the more pitches a hitter sees, the better chance they have to make good contact. Here's Robbie Franco. In, Robbie Franco, runner in scoring position with two men. Fouled off. Topped foul. Comes set. The 0 1. Foul that one liner. off. Foul. Barely. He was just a bit late on that one. Nothing into the pitch. One ball, two feet. Tried to get him to chase. Pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again or something slow below? There we go. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. So a good job on the mound there as he'll strand the runner. Did a good job of getting out of that inning. inning. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. Hopefully that'll, keep, that'll give me good no eyes in the grace of the scouts. All right, we're up one nothing at the top of the second. And they'll need him to get something going here. Pitch on the way. All right. Slider down in the zone. He takes it for strike one. All over that. Whoa! Ball watch out, bullpen. <laughs> foul ball. You can see that one of the pitchers just get his legs up to avoid the hit. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And a good what a whiff. <laughs> that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Wow, he's not messing around right here. Three pitches, three strikes, sit your backside down. Scouts One, just love a guy that's two, willing to go right after a hitter. Three. And that's exactly and he's out. what he did there. I see a lot of scouts in the stands nodding their heads, liking what they see, and I don't blame them. The third baseman. Here comes the first pitch. 
Lawrence Rain nope, comes on with just the a bit outside. It ball. It's one and oh. Good timing, but it could have been better. Well behind that this fastball, time he swings at that one. He was strike. late on that one, as you can I'm see from the to watch this next pitch timing. Right he got a swing on a high fastball. I wonder if he's going to pull the old police sack and climb the ladder. Uh, away. No, fouled into the backstop. One out, nobody on. Swing and, swing a, and a miss. Two away. Second out of the inning. Wow, that's the kind of stuff that really impresses me. So anyway, how are you guys pace. today? That's three Ks for him so far. And he's showing he can make big-time hitters swing and miss on a regular basis, which is something every front office in baseball can appreciate. Definitely helping himself in this one. Thank you. Into the box now, Ryan Wang, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now here's the pitch. And that's in there for strike Perfect. one. Wang is a guy that has a lot of speed, no doubt about that. And while that's certainly a weapon for him offensively, it could be argued that it benefits him just as much on the defensive side of the ball, given the position uh. he plays. And not only just speed, but first step quickness speed. He's able to track balls down that other guys cannot get to. And sometimes that's half the equation. To the plate now. Eric oh, Bernard. come on. One ball, no strikes to count. The set and the 1 0 pitch. That's the ball. 2 0 now. You thank your lucky stars when you get a chance to hit behind a guy with as much speed as he has Come on, on first get base. it, done it. The entire defense is on guard, <laughs> and you That's know another probably hit. there's a fastball coming. Well, now that's interesting. He's given up two singles in a row, and he's on his heels just a little bit. Now we'll see if he has the mental makeup to bear down and take care of this next batter. Scouts are nope. always looking to see how a pitcher responds when he gets into a jam. That even up one and one. Oh, that, not, that had to hurt. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. The set and the one one. And fouls that one off too. He was way early on that pitch. Got him swinging Woo! and that out of there. The inning. So technically, I got so the three no strikeouts. Two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. On now to the bottom of the second. The West prospects are on top here, one to nothing. As I still got one more inning of work. Settling in now, Kevin Fox. He'll stand in to open things up here in the third. Kevin Fox. Here's the first pitch to him. Liner towards and second. And hit. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. In now, Craig Hedrick swinging a ball hit on the ground. I'll take this one. Don't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the shoe route. Yeah, I don't want to risk getting a misplay there. <laughs> Standing in, Felix Peniagua as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Oh, that one. And he misses inside with that one, ball one. One out and a runner on second base. In there, one and one. There we go. Let's see. Ooh, no contact it. there, and it's one, one and two. two. Striking out his last right time up. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Uh oh, oh no, that's ball right down he's gonna catch left. it. Left he is. is on the move, and he makes the catch Got in the corner. There. One hit, one left. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. The West Stars lead this one, one to nothing. There we go. And now I'm should Ryan be done. Gabe yep. We'll take the ball now as the new pitcher. <laughs> so even though we did our best, game, two to one, the, the Central stuff <laughs> Central still gets the, the win, two to one. Late taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Dave Yoshii takes home the win. So that'll just about like, yeah, do the it guy you saw earlier in number 36. Thanks to Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of ML. So it was a pretty good game. We kept them off the board at least.
we'll do uh, the last scout game. Then uh, I gotta go have dinner. So I'll probably end it then. Day two of the Top Sandwiches Showcase is your last chance to make an impression on the scouts and front office personnel. It could make a br it could be a make or break day for your drop stock. <coughs> so hold nothing back. <laughs> Afternoon baseball here on the show. One game for each team is in the books, and now it's on to day two, and we've got a good matchup ahead between the prospects from the Eastern Seaboard and those representing the West. All right, so it's East meets West in the final scouting game. Number 24 will be on the mound for the away team in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Well, Matty, if you're looking for innings out of your starting pitcher, you're looking at the right guy. This guy seems to deliver more often than not going deep into the games. He's one of those guys you feel really confident that could go into that seventh, eighth, and even the ninth inning. A workhorse. Standing in. Out of high school. For the record. Ready for some daytime baseball. Here's the first pitch to him. And they start in there. Out strike one. Strike. Uh, first pitch at 105 Eastern. 105. Hey, no outs here. And ah, ball that bounces up the way too low. One and one. No Just a bit on outside on that one. A strike. Two and one. Forecast high calls for 80 degrees, but we're at 76 here at opening pitch. Foul that one. Bailey. Yeah, he was just a bit early on that uh, one. Two, two. It's a swing pop. and a high pop. Oh, catch has got it. Catch has got it. Moving to his left. There we go. Got it one away. All right, pretty good start. So striding forward now, Jack Hirsch. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Yeah. No mm -hmm. balls in Looks one Looks like he strike. just missed time that one. And if we get a look here inside Baseball City, Florida. You see, he was way late on that fastball. Weak ground and yeah, the easy ground line. out for that one. Take it to the bag himself for the out. So two away here in the first. Ready now, Brian Oakley. As he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Hit on the ground down the first base And foul. Line. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Now here it comes. The With the, that one, strike here, two. Control, oh and two. Now this pitcher's feeling the flow right now. Two outs in the first inning. He's got really nice Foul, mechanics one. working right now. Blew that fastball right by him. Oh, two pitch. Grounded to first. Fouled at the first, but he gets it again for the second out, for the third out of the, the inning. Himself, and the inning is over. So not much happening here in the top half of the first. On now to the bottom of inning number one with no score after a half an inning. Right, second top inning of the second, go, we're still tied, nothing, nothing. Kareem Martinez. Fastball taken, in there, strike that gets one. The zone for a strike. Sky uh, he's got this. Left, left fielder's got this left one. Fielder giving chase. Yeah, he, he got gets it. There and makes the play for the first out. Now in the box, Nino yeah, Gonzalez. Here comes Nino Gonzalez. Ready to deliver. Sets Here's and the first throws. In there. Looks like it was towards dead center, but still gets the strike. And he fouls this one off. And strike two. No score here as we play inning number two. Now a swing, and he pops him up. This is here, right go get it, man. Go get it. Oh, oh, darn it. Oh, and they botch this one as it I thought you got it, field. man. Darn it. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Well, he was cruising there for a while. Darn it. How did I make that mistake? Eventually. This is actually good because I should have just let him get it. See how he operates out of the stretch. Yeah, that's Maybe what I get for getting too close. Move. Also, you want to see how a pitcher responds to adversity. And this is the first bit of adversity he's faced all game. 
Here's the 0 and 2. And a Strike three. He's out of there. With the slider there two, two away. away. Wow, he's not messing around right here. Three pitches, three strikes, sit your backside down. Scouts just love a guy that's willing to go right after in. a hitter, and that's exactly what he did there. I see a lot of scouts uh, in the stands nope. nodding their that's heads, another hit. liking what they see, and I don't blame them. And that runner will go no further than second two as away. there are two aboard now. Two aboard, two away. Into the box now. Tony Bird. He swings. Oh, he's got this one. Short, scooped up and that ends the, the run inning. Will not come to pass as the inning Thank is you guys over. for bailing so me out. No runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. All right. Last so inning, we're up in, one nothing. Ortega, and he'll start out their half of the third. Top of the order to follow. Ortega. In there, and it's 0-1. Nice. It's just a bit late, but still in there. Fly oh, ball right down the line left field has got this one left again. Is on the move, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. That was a quick first Driving out. In once again, Edgar Ramiro. As you see, he was Third just a bit early on that one. The, bunt, the first pitch. Ramiro. And he fouls off the first pitch of the at bat empty, way man. early on that one. He was probably expecting a fastball, but instead he got the slider. And he misses with it mm. one and one. That one looked like it could easily have gone the other way. Yeah. There's a big difference between 0 and 2 and 1 and 1, but now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at bat. Right side, and but it's fouled be a that foul one. Ball. Ready to deliver the one and two. Liner towards second, but this is going to be hauled in nice out there at second base for out number two. Now right. batting. Hopefully, this will be the last batter. On top of one, it was a ground out victim last time. Mm, yeah, way too low. To start a bit too low on that one. Not way too low. One and all. Well, that backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's a very effective pitch. If you can hit the outside corner of that pitch, oh, nope. Right field is not going to get to that one. It's going to hit off or close to it, but Two out, nobody still up. way too far. See what's early on that one. And he popped him and up over toward the left side out. of the infield. Buxton is there to make the catch in the Oh, darn it! You're right. Nothing across <laughs> this My mistake. We'll move on to the bottom I thought I did. Three. But I guess I can't do that on PlayStation. One to nothing. Yeah, I guess it doesn't do that on PlayStation. I thought I did that on Twitch. Oh well. <laughs> Thank you. All right, and the East gets the win, so. was the right choice to let the setup guy stay in the game and finish this thing. I wasn't so sure. So we before, lose this one for the two, for but we did our two scouting games. So now nothing left to do but see where in the late rounds of the draft we're gonna go. <laughs> With nothing left to do but a Oh really? This young hopeful receives right. a check-in from his former high school coach, who's been acting as his advisor through the process. Well, you've done all you can, son. Can do, son. I'm proud of you. How do you feel about my chances? Jay, I believe, says the first year I coached you that you've got big league potential. Some smart GM is going to see what I see. Thanks for believing in me, sir. I hope you're right. Let's just see what happens with the draft, and then we'll go from there. Was there an organization that you really want? Nah, yeah, this is where I could choose where to pick my team if I wanted to. But I'll do no, sir. I just want to play ball. I don't care who it's with. Welcome back to the Major League Baseball First Year Player Draft. The first pick is officially on the clock. With the first pick, the yeah, we're in the middle rounds, round, round 15, Irwin. and there's a lot of rounds in an MLB draft. From the West At region. least 20. With the second pick, the Baltimore Orioles select John Newman, a center fielder from the West Region. With the third pick, the Miami Marlins select Robbie Franco, 
Nothing left to do but to see where am I going to start my pro career. The Kansas City Royals select Tony Burr, a left fielder from the East Region. All right, let's see if we go to Toronto. The Toronto Blue Jays select Steve. Nope. Mathis. A second baseman from the West Region with the sixth pick. The Seattle Mariners select Ryan. A, nope. A relief pitcher from the guy the that West always replaced me in the last two games got picked pick. higher than me. The Pittsburgh Pirates select Henry Tavares. A closing pitcher from the West Region with the eighth pick. The San Diego Padres select Horace. Arias, nope. A closing pitcher from the central region. I am going to be picked in this pick, round. The Colorado Rockies select Juan Lopez. A starting pitcher from the west region. With a tenth One of my teammates. The Los Angeles Angels select Ian. Nope. Yates. A relief pitcher from the west region. With the eleventh pick. The Chicago White Sox select Fred. Nope. Story. Still on the board. A shortstop from the west region. With the 12th pick, the See, am I going to Cincinnati? Yes, I am. Seven. Wait, no! Relief pitcher from you fooled me! Region. You fooled me! Pick, Come on! Giants select of course I go to the Giants! The <laughs> Why? Alright. So, I get picked with the 463rd overall draft pick to the San Francisco Giants. Of all the teams to go to. <laughs> Come on! Darn it! Ah. <laughs> Come on! And lonely first two days of the MLB draft. Jay, we just got the call we've been waiting for. You've been drafted in round 15 by the Giants. <laughs> uh, I was hoping I'd be drafted in an earlier round. It was my pleasure. <laughs> Coach, that, that's not what I said. I could play college ball for you, and that just lets me do the two scouting games again. But I don't think I'm going to get any better than the one, this 200 and, at least the 263rd overall draft pick. It's okay. We'll do a quick uh, game. Is a major I'm ready to play pro ball. I know you've got what it takes, Jay. Visualize the player you want to become and make it happen to the big with hard work and good choices. So I'm off to Richmond, Virginia, the double-A team for the, for the San Francisco Giants. And I'm the fifth player. So we'll go as far as we can into this game. This will be the last game I do for sure. And then I'm going to call it. So we're on a bit of a cold streak. We're down one and three. Let's see how far we can go as I make my professional debut. Well, my double A debut. The show's continuing coverage of Eastern League Baseball is on the air. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Flying Squirrels of Richmond and the Altoona Curve. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. All right, here we go. Brennan this Malone, their starting right pitcher, Brennan Malone. Is the man on the mound. As we come into What's the game, on bottom of the first, hey, no we're score. At a guy that knows how to pitch. Last year, his That's ERA was just under 3.5 for the That's season. Ball. And I ball. Would come on, man. Oh, come on, I'm looking to better that, and hopefully he gets off to a hey, good start. We'll no see one. if that starts in this one today. Ground oh. ball sent back up the middle. Oh. And this will find its way into center Just field missed my for a glove. leadoff single. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dad. Sent it back right where it came from. At the plate now, that Travis Swaggerty. And that misses for ball one. That missed. Elevates Come on, um, that was clearly in there. Down. And it's fouled away. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. 
And Bounty outside foul. But this will land untouched. The one and two pitch. Oh, back up well, at least we got the double play this time. On to first to got him. Both of them are out. That's the way to make up for it. A chance now to take a look at how the home team lines up in this one. Dero, tell us about this lineup as they try to force a rubber match in the series. Well, Matty, you take a look at this lineup filled with young bloods. Just young guys, hungry, aggressive. Well, I would hope it's young, young players since we're in the minors. To both gaps. Line to line power up and down this lineup. Should be interesting to see if this pitcher uses In the zone and fouled off with strike one. Looking to get on base and keep this. I don't think he was expecting alive. the fastball. Tried to get that one was too far slider, outside. One and one. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. Pops this one and up. I will. Luciano shading to his right, and that retires the side. We played an inning. Still. So you see the little nothing. icons above the players' heads. If you see like a handshake going on, that means I'm improving my relationship with the players. Coming to the plate and now, the stats of, and the things that are popping up above and my head is the little bits of attribute gains I'm gaining with Burr. each out. Meanwhile, I'm actually going to hit the ball. <laughs> First pitch coming, here it is. Now a swing and a miss as they start out on a pitch. <laughs> Dang, I did not expect it to be a curveball inside. No score here as we play inning number two. Oh, big guy. Lifted the other way out to left center. center I tried at least. The run. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. But I lose no clutch hitting. Hit two left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two, and we are tied. Nothing, so unfortunately, nothing. I couldn't get any of my teammates home. Next will be the cleanup hitter. So Cal it's Mitchell. still Let's nothing, nothing at the top of the second. That one's in there. there. The Slider dead center, but he right. fouled that one off. To first. One. Nice one. Cleanly. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Not and a lot you can that's do a quick with first out there. Fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. All right, here comes the Digging next batter. In, Hunter Owen, couple of hits for him in four trips the to the plate last night. Hunter Owen. In there, strike one. I'm absolutely and there you see those stats from last right night. There, right in the wheelhouse, low 90s heater. That's one you got to let go on. Strike two. Pretty unusual that you see a 5-0 hitter take two strikes in a row. Typically, those are some of the most aggressive batters in the lineup. Because he was waiting for that, but Hayward left field that gets it in for the out. Away for the Two away. Out of the inning. Into the box now, Jake Gatewood. Yeah. Try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. And the pitch. Starts what a whip! Rising fastball there for strike one. And again, there's Gatewood stats from last night's ah. game. Oh, and one pitch. count and the pitch. Straight up, straight up. Popped him up. And this time I'm going to let the catcher get it. I'm not even going to touch the controller stick. And he gets the out to end the, the inning. So they breeze through this half of the inning. We played two full, and we are tied nothing nothing. Let's go ahead a bit. Stepping into the box, Adrian Bellerio. Still no score to get to the bottom of the third inning. Start in the early Let's part of the season. Off. Adrian. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Oh, this one's in there. Strike I know one. A strike right there, but he better be careful with Barely, that. Barely, I guess. Ball. That's coming across and catching a lot of plate. Yeah. And if he stays back, he's going to drive that thing with some serious authority. Strike two. And, and a waste pitch up above. One and two. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here. Take a deep breath after that high fastball. You've got to be leery of him. And grounded to the, the shortstop. Throw Gets the out. In time as he's called out on a bang bang play at first. One away. Now 
Now to the plate, Jason DeLay. He'll get to take his first cuts here. The catcher, Jason. Here's the pitch. All right, here we go. He has to bit inside. Look at ball one, one and zero. With next shot, the slider there, a ball and a strike. Comes the pitch, and now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. In there for strike two. Strike, and it's back to even at two and two. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing. Our score. Swing and miss on the breaking pitch. Two away. That's here. It is my first double A strikeout. Oh, well, it's only a stepping stone for me. Hopefully, I can get to a major league strikeout within a few years. Standing in now, Brennan Malone. Fouled off. Fouled off that pitch. Outside ah, for a ball, bad. one and one. Not bad, but it didn't. He just decided not to swing out. at it. In there, one and two. Nice. Now. That's a tough curveball right there to stay into as a lefty hitter. That ball looks like it's almost going to hit you, and it breaks over the inside half of the plate. And he comes strike back three. With a fastball. Pitcher strike decided not three to swing at all. Is over. As so I no get the runs, easy no out no to win to no end the inning. Three innings complete. All right, we're up two nothing. So I'm hitting, and I think I'm gonna sacri into this sacrifice bunt. In the ball game. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Oh, it was in there. Back, but it's in there for one. First and second now. It's hard to one tell. Now a pickoff. Uh, pickoff. Nope. And a dive, but he's back. Let's see. A oh, one pitch on its way. And they do there we go. Bunting with one away as he puts this one down. Wait, what? One there, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to uh, first. Well, at least we got the one at a third. And he does come home, so it's a three nothing game as he gets to the bottom the of the fourth. Baseman, Stephen first offering on its way. Bottom in there, strike the one. The slider is in there for a called strike. Fouled away. Fouled off. Strike two. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Good job. Foul that one into that the one corner there. Stays alive. Very late on that pitch. Yeah, I don't know and he decided not to go ball. for it. Timing and he goes for that one. There is this one's fouled off to the right. And he Whoa, wasn't gonna hit what that a win with an or the strikeout, and there's one gone. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the with, zone. Whoa. Not much you can do with that pitch. Had to, no choice now but for him to walk to the bench Stepping angry. Now, Travis Swaggerty. And now we got a little bit of a rivalry going with that strike with a strikeout like that. One thus far. <laughs> right there, and it's quickly 0 and 2 now. One out, nobody on. One down now. One down. Protecting Foul. on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. He was early on that one. He just wanted to put the ball in foul territory. And the With slider gets him swinging. Two gone. Pretty impressive back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the inning. What's even more important is now he gets to face the middle of the order without anybody on base for them to drive in. At the plate, Christian Fuentes. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And he fouls the pitch out of the zone. Strike two. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. And done. Struck out the side. is over. So nothing happening this time around. So we after four, four, we're up full. three to nothing. The lead it three to nothing. 
bottom of the inning. No change in the score as we go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Cal Mitchell. The right field. Fastball in there for a called strike. Get tell from my energy, I'm starting to get tired. And umpire says it's in there. Umpire says strike two was in there, even though it looked a bit outside. Got and that caused him to get angry down. and whiff at strike three. That's a pretty sad attempt at hitting a baseball right there. No doubt he was completely fooled because that was a curveball and it looked like he was late on a curveball. That tells me he gave up on it right till the very end and obviously there was nothing he could do at that point. You Third see on the swing timer, he was way too Hunter late Owen. on that curveball. And he is frozen on a good curveball that started at his hip at strike he has one. stats so far. Over one for him here in this one. Oop. Press the wrong button. Let's see if that makes a difference. Swing nope. Miss still strike two. Owen. Quickly behind nothing in two. Yeah, Matty, he's had these guys on a proverbial rocking horse all night. Changing speeds, hitting every quadrant. He's tough to like hit. Like that. Strike Fast three. Ball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. If this doesn't boost your confidence on the mound, I'm not sure what does. That's six pitches and two strikeouts in the inning, and that was a really nice fastball for the punch out on that one. In now, Jake Gatewood. The first base A ball and no strikes. He'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. There's with a big breaking ball, and it's by him for a strike. Gatewood. Again, he was too early on that one. Age. He was a first-round pick during the 2014 draft. Hey, this guy hasn't reached the big leagues yet, but he's coming. You're going to know his name at some point. He just got a few more developmental things to work on. Ah, and he lays off just the outside. outside as they draw even at two and two. Two out, nobody on. In there, strike out. three, His struck out the side out in order. Game, and that one ends the inning. So put another zero on the board as they've been held scoreless through five. All right, in the hit again. Run at first, now. two away. So I got no choice but to swing away. He's set and the pitch. Now a check, oh, swing, check swing holds up in time. Ball one. Whew. Close one. Because I was early on a curve. Bounce to first. Uh, Reined in. And was way early on, on a fastball. And the inning is over. Digging in the switch. Right, they're keeping me in. Bottom of the six. Of the for the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup Strike that one. Quite frankly has been non existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five Strike innings. Two. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced? Other than it's been fantastic. We'll see if that continues. Ah, uh, I was going to say strike three. But the umpire now. says that's inside. Ready on one and two. Oh, he's now strike the three. Strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. I may need to well, up the difficulty for the next stream. Pitch. I think it should have been a strike. Then he goes down looking, and you really can't feel too sorry for him. Not a lot of protecting with two strikes yep. there. Into the with. box now. Oh Jason no, he didn't whip. Darn it! What was I thinking? To start the ad bat. I thought he was going to swing at it. Now he foul gets that one. Top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Here's the 1-1. One, one. The pitch. Foul. Foul. But the first baseman's got right this one. The ball, 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 ball. And this is taken in for the second out. There we go. Nice job. You're Craig. We'll get the and ball. they're done with their pitcher the today. Sure. As they got a new pinch hitter. Will Craig. And a fastball's in there for strike one. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. And nah, this is just wide. outside. One ball and one strike. Perfect Bases release, but here with two again, my control is still not the best. A little behind on Too that low, swing, and but he swung at it and hit it. Maybe and protect the plate. The one-two. And, and fouled again. Fouled away. <laughs> and 
the pitch and he with will end of the inning. Out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Make it six shutout innings as he continues to give them fits out there. All right, now we're up so four nothing. They may just keep me in the entire game if I don't show them I'm tired. Last time up. Strike one. He lays off here, but it's a cold strike one. Here we go now. Let's go. Ah, too now high. Last ball here, not close, and it's one and one now. Skied into ah, very shallow right. Field has right. got this one though. Duggar is in a few steps as he takes it for the first down. Nice job, man. One away. Now at the plate, Travis Swaggerty. He's over two. What a name, Travis so Swaggerty. And a strike called. Mr. Mr. Dalier. His slider's been impressive all night long. If he can continue spinning it like that, he's going to be just fine. Down the first baseline. And but foul. This will wind up a foul ball, strike two. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with all. No, nah, I didn't. But he hits it just enough to get fouled. Here's another 0-2. Slow one, 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 one. roller left side. He's got the. Oh, no, I thought he got it. it. That's an error. No as he reaches first Boy, they're gonna call that a base hit. I'll tell you what, D. Rowe, this guy's been on point. Yeah, that's a that hit. Knock. That's only their second knock of the game, and it's getting late into this one. Yeah, it's frustrating. You can see it from the manager to the hitting coach to everyone oh. in this lineup. They Looks are like I may really not be out here long. The they've swung the bats. Maybe this is the start of something hey. late. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. Trying to speed this along. Strike I two. Catch up with the gas that time. This pitcher is bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early. And ah, get ready but right to the center fielder for them. So that's Ramos an out. Is there to put it away, and the runner nice will be forced to retreat back to first. Two away at the bottom of the seventh. Striding into the box, Cal so Mitchell. Do. No hits in two trips to the plate. Yeah. For check him swing, in the but it, not no in time. In strike the count. He tried to check swing, but it was too late. And he lays nah, off too low. One. Hey, that backdoor breaking ball just missed. He had a chance to run it to 0-2. Strike two. One two. One ball, two strikes. Boy, yeah. he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. Well, I was until they. Towards center field. He got and the hit. In there, base hit. Cut it right there. Cut. Hey, this might be their best opportunity to at least get on the board. They've been get struggling the offensively, and they find themselves with two runners on board. Let's see nope. if they can continue it. Hunter Owen is Hunter. in with two away as he takes a ball. My pitch is starting to get tired. Well, I'm starting to get tired. Strike one. Strike, one. strike two. Right there at the belt, one and two now. With runners on base, two outs, and two strikes, this is Foul. a big next pitch for both sides. Two down, he was way too early, but he did just enough to keep it in. Rolled slowly down the third and baseline. Inch foul. This is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. He set now the pitch. And now he whistles. Out here, his 11th of the ball game, and this one ends. Strike the three, inning. and that ends so the no inning. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left. And they're gonna keep me in. I'm up. Ready I'm up to the play again. Jay Bird. Fourth plate appearance for him tonight, and why not? He's been in control all game long. Ah, first change up. Hack in here, and that's the first strike. Not even close. Fastball. It was a good timing, but I'm not good at hitting, as you can tell. A good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. So no runs, no hits. No All right, and I am done for the day. Kirby St. John base. comes in to Kirby relief. St. John will come on out of the bullpen. And that's enough for me to get the win. Another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very. So happy I put in seven strong innings a for the win. One one finish in this evening's game. The Richmond Flying Squirrels took the lead in the fourth and held on until it's the end. That's a good debut game for me. And I get a new Adidas sponsorship for my franchise mode.
Oh, no, I don't want to sell it. All right, game's auto saved. All right, well, that's going to do it for me tonight, folks. We reached about the two-hour mark anyway, so... Thank you for sticking with me, and happy opening day to everybody in the MLB. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next stream. Take care, everybody, and goodbye. Minor league oh, wait, hold on, before we do. To a new member of his staff. <laughs> Darn it, I forgot about that. Uh, it's just telling me that I got... I can use the bullpen at certain days. Now we can say goodbye. Thank you for watching, everybody. Good night. <laughs> and take care.